Now, it's being billed as a hedonistic weekend of history. That's the annual Heritage Open Days Festival, when hundreds of historical sites across the country open their doors to the public. Dozens of sites across the Midlands are taking part, and we'll be looking into a few of them over the next three evenings. Tonight, Callum Watkinson takes a look around a Victorian photography studio in Derby. Everyone with a phone is a photographer in the internet age, but on Midland Road in Derby, WWW has meant something since 1867, when Walter William Winter built this studio. In the same premises, under the same name, his successors have been preserving special moments for the people of Derby for nearly 15 decades. In the firm's early days, the cameras were much larger. King Edward was a valued client. Images were taken on glass negatives and airbrushing was done by hand. For the 14-year-old apprentice, whose career began as the Second World War ended, 68 years capturing other people's memories in this building has left him with a few of his own. It seemed to have an atmosphere, as simple as that. And although it was a, you know, a big rambling place, it, it's, it grows on you. And a temp who arrived more than 20 years ago confirms the place has a habit of holding on to people. I came as a Saturday girl back in 1990 and um, in 1991 was offered an apprenticeship and never left. It's a fantastic place, it's the fact that it's been around since 1867 and it's about having the history of families, families keep coming back to us after generation after generation. Today storing pictures is a matter of megabytes on a hard drive, back then it required glass by the tonne. When half the building was sold off a priceless visual record was shattered. The rear premises was uh, demolished. I reckon on one wall alone I got something in the order of about s seven tonnes of glass. I mean, it, it, it was incredible. And all those negatives regrettably went there, but the history that went there was, was quite, quite something. But tens of thousands of negatives still survive and staff here hope a lottery grant will enable them to preserve and catalogue what's left. If your family comes from Derby, it's possible some of your ancestors are gathering dust upon these shelves. We get emails every week from people who are doing family history, researching their um, relatives, um, and they know that they've been photographed at Winters, and you know they get in touch and say, have you got a photograph taken in the 1930s of great auntie whatever? And we probably have, but we don't know. Um, so that would be nice if we could say yes to them, really. It's been a you know, very, very, very good, good life. I don't think you'll find probably anything uh, similar to this. We have so much history here. To, to just throw it away, well, I'm grey-haired now, and I think that'll finish me off. <laughs> Though it's the history that makes it special, this company still does what it always has and the changing face of Derby is reflected in the pictures they still take. Callum Watkinson, ITV News.